Morning guys, we have a little quick unboxing to do today. Um, just a Hobby King thing. Nothing fancy, I know what it is. Of course I know what it is, because I ordered it. Um, but it's nothing, wow, amazing. Um, it's just something I needed extra off. And um, they're very cheap. And it's just some spare propellers. Um, the difference on these propellers here are that they are opposite. Um, I'll show you. The other ones I have. This is for my tricup to build whenever I'm gonna be doing that. Um, I bought two packs of propellers, and these here are meant. These two packs here are supposed to go that way, where this bag is made to go that way. Um, and you, because you, when you got a tricup, the, you have two propellers going one way, and the rear one normally go the other way. So I had to buy extra, and I didn't think of that when I bought it, but now I got it, so that's perfect. Down here is all the other stuff for my tricup to build, um, which I'm really excited about. Um, that's this is batteries. Um, Why well, it's all just been flying around like this? I don't know. Got some cable heat shrink as well. Um, the motors got three motors here for it, um, but I got more than three motors because I bought an extra one from one of my planes and. Uh, extra one as well. I bought two of those. Got these Turnergy here. My KK2 board, which is all that. The motors and servos and propellers. I'm gonna leave that down there until Jacob, my friends, come over and help me build it. Paul is over at my mum and dad right now. Uh, my dad is going to operation now. It's about 11 um, in the morning. Well, midday. Paul is over at my mum and dad right now. Uh, my dad is going to operation now. It's about 11 um, in the morning, well, midday, something like that. And Paul is um, just over. We discovered that Sally had a lump or like a cyst or something on her stomach. And uh, because my mum is quite good with dogs and stuff like that, we asked her to have a look at it. And, and one of her good friends is a vet. So tomorrow, um, the, her friend, aka the vet, it's gonna come over and uh, visit mum um, to hand back Sally. You know, my mum and dad's old dog was named Sally as well. Um, well, when she passed away, my mum and dad decided to have her cremated and they want to have the, um, what do you call it? We call it an urn. I don't know if it's the same with you, America, you, uh, but you know where you get, you get the um, cremation done and you get to have the the remains in like um vase or something like that so mum and dad are gonna have her back but um it's cleaning day today so i'm gonna be busy cleaning the whole house um washing all the bedding um needs to be done so, and yeah we're gonna be busy just gonna put some socks on oops that was not it that's it socks um doesn't matter anything tomorrow morning i'm off to copenhagen um i am going to well, um, I'll tell you tomorrow. Uh, I can't really tell you. I'm not allowed to, I think. I'm not sure. The curtain rail is up in my window now. I want to get something on. I mean, yeah, I can't open the window more than... <clears throat> wow, it's tight. I can't open it more than that. Um, but it's okay because I'm not going to be going out there until they get that thing built. And if they get that thing, the terrace thing he built out there at one point, what I'll do is I'll unscrew it from there and put it up here um, so it'll hang over and then it can just be swept aside. Um, but for now it's fine. Um, I'm just going to clean up all the bloody fly sheets and stuff around that bloody windowsill. It looks crazy. So I'm going to do that now. And uh, yeah, we just did the uh, guest room. That's all done. Um, we're just doing a quick hoover slash clean and floor wash around the whole house and eats it. And uh, then tomorrow... Um, I got an appointment very early in the morning in Copenhagen. I'm not telling you what it is. Um, then uh, Paul is going over with Sally because she got like, um, it looks like she got a cyst in her stomach and it's not very nice. And we're a little bit worried because we don't hope it's the big C word, cancer, because um, that would be horrible for her to go through and also for us. Um, plus it'll cost a fortune. So um, hopefully it's just a simple thing we can be taking with a little procedure. And she'll be back to normal again. Well, she is normal. She don't seem like to be affected by it, so that's fine. Done. So now we are 
having some privacy in our office because everybody could look when they went out the road, there's some neighbors living further down, they could just stare right in at night and not that I don't mind, but well, it's nice to have the blinds up as well because the sun comes in in the morning as well and I can just blind off if I don't want sun or I can leave them open if I want sun. Yay! Um, just about to Hoover, put these two planes out in the guest room because those are not mine, those are for Alan and Jacob and um, that one is for me. <laughs> So I'm going to be probably spending a little bit of time on decorating that, so it'll look all nice and awesome. Ah, <sighs> nice clean house. All the floors have been washed and hoovered and all the windows have been polished and all that, so they're nice and clean. So it looks well. Yeah, nice sort out a little bit in here. I'm heading over to Bruce now. Look, I want to get a soda for tonight, just a little bit. And uh, then I need to go home and shape my beard a little bit, trim it nicely and my hair as well get some shape over it because I'm going to go make tomorrow. It's an interview but it's not for a job so I can't say much more than that. I'll probably show you the new tomorrow. Um, so we'll see. Now what we also did as well, we took this little cabinet up there. That was in the guest room normally. Um, but we put the little phone in there. The only thing is that the two cables are showing there but that's... Can't win every time so yeah. Looks alright. Sally just had a shower because she's been rolling in deer poop again in the garden. We have apple trees down the end of the garden and um, I don't know if you guys can see it. But down there by the trampoline that's apple trees. And the deers come there every morning and eat apples. Um, fortunately they also poop then. And then Sally, of course that little minx, had to go and roll in it just to make her more annoyed. So we... Um, we just uh, put her in a quick shower again, and some dog shampoo. Uh, and we're going to do that every time because I'm not letting her go on inside the house, especially now when we clean everything. Um, and she's full of poop everywhere. Ugh. See you guys? That's what I meant when I said our... Um, all the instruments in our car is freaking out. <laughs> and then it turns off. Turn on again. And off. And it keeps doing that, and sometimes it won't even go on, and sometimes uh, it stays on. I'm heading home now, and uh, I think Paul is about to do some dinner. I need to go and clean myself, tidy myself up a little bit, beard trim and all that. Um, just so I look a little bit more presentable and not looking so scruffy, which I normally do. Oh, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, I uh, also need to go and clean my... Converse all stars. So some people say that all stars look nicer when they're all worn and looking old. And um, I saw this video on YouTube once where this girl got a brand new pair of birthday present from her parents. She opened the box, took them straight outside, threw them down the dirt, and kicked them around and all that. Took them up and brushed them off so they looked all dirty and horrible. And then she was like happy. Like, what the douche? You just had a brand new pair of Converse and you do that to them? If it were about my kid, I would have been slapped the silly out of them. I mean, brand new shoes, don't go and kick them around in dirt and distress them and all that. They'll get that in time. Um, but yeah, I like the I like the look of new Converse. I think it looks nice. Um, the only downside is that I live at the countryside and uh, very easily my shoes get very dirty because there's so much dirt around, like mud and and stuff like that. So as soon as it's raining, it's not like in town where you don't get too much of the same dirt. You do get dirt, of course, but not the same kind of dirt uh, as out here. The new blind looks good. It's like nice to have the privacy. Uh, I already got a blind in there. So nobody can peek in now unless you're looking into the door. Yeah, um, but I'm going to fit the trimmer now and go out in the bathroom. And trim my beard, and trim my hair, trim myself everywhere. No, not everywhere. So you want to see if I can do a hand roll and catch it? All right. So this is the Ken Dama pill. All right. Hand roll. And no catch, because I kept spinning too much. Let's try again. Hand roll. Oh, the wrong, wrong end. I need to hold the end with the uh, clam on it. Hand roll. Ah. <laughs> I stink when I had the camera on. I bet you if I put the light on here and put the camera down, then I can do it. Let's try. Now, stay. Alright. So, let's see if I can find a good angle. 
Probably not. Alright. Second try. Alright. Third time lucky. Yay! <laughs> Alright, time for my beard trimming. So guys, is that better? Groomed and trimmed a bit. I got such a thin hairline. It's so annoying I got that from my mum's side. Um, my cousin Dennis, he is like, what, 25? He hardly got any hair in his head. I was like, I've, I should be feel blessed that I still got a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah. Horrible with the hairline going on. Wow, you can see my teeth now. <laughs> but yeah, um, it was nice. I just had a shower and uh, I'm going to call it a day, guys, because I want to go to bed quite soon. It's like 10 o'clock now. Um, not when you watch this, but right now it is. And I want to go to bed about late. It's 12 because I'm up like 6.37ish. I hate early mornings. You guys know that. Um, so I will have an early night tonight. And I'm gone, oh, pinky, can I just turn some of that, he's crazy, crazy pinky color off, like, try and do this and we'll get a bit more white. Not really anything else in the program today, guys, um, besides, just had a, I oh, I got a big spot there, just had a good shower after cutting my hair and trimming and all that, and it, it's nice just getting a, a trim. You guys do this? Mm. <laughs> um... But yeah, I'm going to go to bed now shortly after I edit this. <sighs> and then tomorrow, um, Sally's been checked by the vet. She's a little bit tired. She's been playing around here today. Um, sorry for looking over there, but I'm recording with the front camera. And sometimes you can't help avoiding like looking at yourself like that, which is a bit annoying. <laughs> but um, that's the reason why when I record with my... Um, my Canon DSLR, I don't like having the screen facing towards me because I will always be distracted to look like how do I look in the screen? <laughs> Am I standing in the right place or like that? If I just don't have the screen to look at like so, I will just keep looking at the uh, lens and yeah, it looks like I'm actually talking directly to you. I can tickle you. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> Anyways guys, I'm gonna see you all tomorrow and uh, I hope I can film a little bit when I'm in Copenhagen, uh, but I can't push my luck because I don't know if I'm allowed to film in there. I don't think I am uh, because that would be a dead giveaway. <laughs> um, but we'll see. Yeah. All right, guys. Take good care. Love you all. You're awesome and epic. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.